killing will stop the dream that other sao rực lửa tình yêu sao lạnh văn tình yêu như địa ngục tình yêu như thiên đàng the buddha said <cười> <cười> in this world how many people Just because they don't keep their mouth shut <laughs> and run into disasters, therefore, take heed that you talk only when necessary. The story speaks for itself. And I have done my humorous best. <laughs> <laughs> to transform a very serious story into a comedy. <laughs> okay? It's not better. Uh, so understand. That is not that we cannot speak, but we should not speak at an inappropriate time. That's the problem. It's the timing. I told you last night in Chinese <laughs> that uh, when you're too noisy, you disturb because you don't flow with the rest or you don't flow with your partner or the surroundings. You talk when you should not, when you should keep silent, or you smile, or do nothing. Understand? That's when you make noise. Not because you talk all day that you make noise. I talk a lot, but the more I talk, the more you love it. Right? I don't make noise. But even when you don't talk, you make noise. <laughs> yeah, you make noise with your inner disturbance, inner turbulence, inner disharmony. Understand? By not being in accordance with the surroundings by not being in harmony with uh, the rest of the universe. You make noise. Some people talk just like suddenly a bomb dropped. <laughs> yeah, always. Or when they do something, <laughs> it's just like suddenly we have an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not suitable for the occasion and the atmosphere. That is why you make noise. You're noisy, not because you talk a lot. Understand? Yes. Some people don't even talk at all. They sit next to me, or they just mention one word, and it's already disturbing. Just like they put a bomb <laughs> inside. Understand or not? Yes. yes. 
So be careful where you talk, when, and what. It's not that you talk a lot that you make noise. You can make noise with one word or one sentence, and you disturb the whole thing. Just like the rooster, you know, in the morning when everything is quiet, peaceful, and calm, and says. And he always does that around our meditation center <laughs> in m e l l i maybe. Yes, in the morning we meditate, and he makes noise. It is his duty, all right, but in the wrong place. You remember in m e l l i in the morning you hear no noise, not even bells to wake up, not even. c l a p b i n g board anymore because I say it's too noisy. We might disturb all the chickens next door, <laughs> and then they come up and make more noise together. <laughs> Therefore, since a long time ago, I have abolished the habit of uh, banging the bell in the morning or c l a p b i n g the board because even that disturbs me. You understand? Yes. Even that disturbs me. So I say everybody has their alarm clock. Somebody can have even four or five, <laughs> in case. <laughs> so why should we clap the board or ring the bell? Understand? Yes. And even ringing the bell is not sure that they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> they all stuff their ears with some <laughs> security guard, <laughs> security curtain, and uh, they they never wake up. I don't need security cotton. Sometimes I don't wake up either. <laughs> I remember in the early days, when I was not yet uh, very famous, and the disciples were few in number. I was invited once to a Chinese temple uh, in Puli. It's kind of the middle of Taiwan, yeah, and in that place. The climate is very nice, and it never changes. Uh, approximately always the same. Many monks, a so-called practitioner, like that place. So many temples there. They go there to seek quietness and solitude. So they build many temples <laughs> together, <laughs> and ring all the bells in the morning. <laughs> Their bells are not not smaller than the uh, elephant. <laughs> And each one is vain with the next temple to have a bigger bell. <laughs> temple bigger, bell bigger, yes. and their drum is similar to the bell size. <laughs> and when the bell and the drum are beating together, the whole earth shakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't experience this. Try. Go to one temple sometime, and they beat the drum in the morning. Truly, the whole earth shakes. The vibration was so strong because the drum was so big, and the bell was so so loud. You could hear it from miles away. Is that not so? Yes. Have you heard this? Yes. If you um, you go to Puli, <laughs> the retreat heaven for many monks, for quiet and solitude. Only every day there are many coaches, buses, which bring a lot of tourists there. Otherwise, it's very quiet, and nobody. They <laughs> <laughs> come for solitude, yes. And the temple is so attractive that it seems like a tourist center. Mm. So that's a quiet place for the monks <laughs> <laughs> to practice <laughs> solitude. <laughs> okay. So now, often when I'm in such a temple, then I would wake up because of the drum, because the whole earth quakes, <laughs> and my bed would shiver. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like when you came to Melly last year and forgot your pullover, <laughs> like that. When I was in that temple, I was invited to conduct a retreat, also seven days. It was serious. You sit for 15 hours straight on the rock. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes, because after you sat for so long, your cushion became rock, <laughs> and your bottom became rock also. <laughs> That's why I say meditation on the rock. <laughs> and I was conducting a seven-day retreat. There were not many people like now, maybe uh, over 50 or something. The temple was also small. The temples are always big, but you cannot use, understand? Full of implements. <laughs> huh? Implements? No, no, no. Buddhist implements, right? Instrument, yes, but... Ornaments. Huh? Ornaments, yeah, ornaments, yes, yes. And a big bell like that, big drum like that, you know? And big Buddha like that. <laughs> So you have no place for real Buddha. <laughs> most of the time, they can only accommodate about a few hundred, you know, at the most, but not for meditation. It's for people. So we meditated like that. And in the morning, I never woke up. <laughs> Maybe too exhausted. Maybe my whole body became rock. <laughs> Not only the, the, the middle part, but the whole. that they really did inherit this Dharma lineage <laughs> from me. <laughs> Therefore, even uh, when we uh, bang the gong or beat the drum, they, they don't know anything. <laughs> Therefore, I say, what is the use huh, to do this anymore? So I have a few alarm clocks to wake up. Or the neighbors will wake you up. But the neighbor would not wake up. <laughs> I don't know who wakes you up. <laughs> but it's all right, it's all right, you know. We don't kill ourselves for the Buddha's sake. <laughs> Anyhow, why do we come to this? Huh? Why we talk so much about drums <laughs> and gongs? 
What was the problem? Oh, you're making noise. And uh, why was that? Oh, yes, 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 meditation. Yes, yes, yes. You see. So, because we were talking about in the morning, it was so quiet and everything disturbed, right? Yeah, I was actually considering the neighbor also. They don't need to wake up at four o'clock. <laughs> Understand? Yes. I care nothing about enlightenment <laughs> and all the chickens in the next farm, you know. They don't want to wake up at four o'clock. <laughs> Therefore, I said to them, no more gongs. Only when you eat, then you sound the gongs. <laughs> but afterward, I discovered that actually they don't need the gong. They know exactly what time <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't need to tell them. Mm. So I said, the gong is really a, a luxury only, an extravagant, uh, how do you say? Useless, huh? <laughs> yes, superfluous item. Yes, yes, yes. But they, they bang the gong anyhow. Otherwise, uh, the one who takes care of the gong has no job. <laughs> <laughs> but we do, uh, we do bang the gong in the evening, telling everybody that the meditation time is over and they should go to bed. But I discovered that was also superfluous, <laughs> because they all know anyhow. <laughs> Ngọt ngào tình ngang trái, tình đưa ta lên trời cao. 